Hey man, I just realized tomorrow is Sunday, um, so whatever, you know. Figured <laughs> might as well do the video uh, while I'm at it. Um, here's the engine bay, very clean, told you very, very well detailed, very nicely done. Um, nothing stands out as being needing attention. Uh, the underside of the hood, the sound insulation, it's all very nice, all very clean, and granted, you know, as you said, pictures can uh, be deceiving and so can video to a certain extent, but I think video with the, with the uh, reflection, um, you know, it, I prefer video over pictures, and plus pictures you can kind of, you know, play around with them. And I apologize that I'm very close to the car because it's parked in here and I didn't have, have a way to get it out, but I think you can appreciate, you know, and it's actually kind of dirty right now, but unfortunately that's what happens when cars sit around. Um, I was going to show you the, um, as I said, the car has been painted, so it's hard to expect. Oh, that's a good fingerprint from when I just moved it. Um, it's hard to see um, the things you would want to find on a real SS, like I said, um, just because it's been repainted. However, it's been repainted very well. I'm going to try and give you a little view here of the, the rear end of the car. Okay. So all it's very well finished in the trunk compartment. I don't think you will be able to see this because it's kind of dark. Let me see if the car, if the camera adjusts itself. Nope. Uh, Reggie, I'm gonna ask for a um, flashlight. But if you can see, if you can see that finish, the rest of the of the trunk just looks just as nice. It, um, you know, this back was all correct. It's a little dark. Uh, you know, correct uh, spare tire as a car cover that goes with the car. Okay, close this. Just actually, let me make sure I have the keys in my pocket. Yes, I've done that before. That was not fun. Um, continue with the paint. And then, you know, granted, this is just to give you a general overview of the car. If there are things you want to know more specifically, more than happy to shoot you know i can actually make a live video so you can see it in real time um so let me finish going around the car and pictures you know we welcome appraisers whatever we can do to make you feel comfortable about the car um, you know we we have this sort of problem if you want to so call it with 80 percent of our customers that are you know not close enough to actually come check out a car. Although, I mean, I've had people drive from Canada and across the country to come look at a car. You know, little details that I like to see is that when I open the door, the courtesy light comes on. That's, you know, m might look stupid, but that's the kind of stuff that I know if the guy that restored the car took the care to make that work, that means that the important stuff he definitely didn't skimp out on. And today, you know, being at night, the light is not exactly perfect to do this, but you can still appreciate, you know, the clean sheet metal, um, brand new carpet, beautiful interior. And I saw the radio back there, so I would guess that we installed, yep, hidden radio. We just installed that. Now this is actually the, um, the checklist that we use when the car leaves. Granted, this is not all of it. This is just the, the final checklist. This is the green sticker pr process. So Charlie, the shop manager, will do this. And whoever sells the car gets to do this little part just before delivering it. So there's like a second opinion, so to speak, before the car actually leaves. So we know that everything is in place and you know any repairs or modifications um, are completed. This, to be clear, is just a battery topper. Just don't want to misrepresent it. Um, this thing, as you can see, has got a very nice set of headers on it. I would think there might be some more information about the build, hopefully, in the paperwork we have for the car. But from what I see, I would assume headers and probably a uh, mild cam or street cam. So power is definitely not lacking in this build. Um, Noteworthy things. I'd love to show you the car underneath, but right now there's just no light. Do you have your little, little pen or something? I just closed the trunk, but I can still have enough time. 
Oh, perfect, yeah. Now, just come over here with it so I can show him the, the corners of the trunk because it was just too dark earlier. Uh, yep. Here we go. Oops. Right. Here we go. Right. Let me move this up again. Not really helping, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, again, not ideal. I apologize, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Then, if there's things that you would like to see in detail, it's not really happening. There you go. Um, you know, I'll take the car out with the sunlight. Nothing beats sunlight, man. Okay. And let's see if I can get a shot of the undercarriage as well. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, because this is not really cutting it. Well, actually, never mind. Not that bad. Just to show you now, floorboards, very clean. Too close. Um, you know, rocker panel. This actually works, Reg, it's fine. Okay. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, it's definitely stronger. I'm waiting for the camera to adapt. Okay. I grant that this is not like seeing it on the um, lift, but it gives you an idea that there's definitely no uh, no rust issues of sorts. You see the hardware is new. Um, the pinch welds are all very nice. You can actually see them under the... Um, rocker panel molding which sometimes can hide scary stuff but in this case you can actually see it all okay Wait. wow okay and we're back um i get um, one thing you might be interested in seeing is this for as much as you can with this guy in the way come on okay come on I need a third hand. Ah, there we go. And he's still in the way. Now I just got the little sprinkler thing out of the way. So I can get a good shot of that. Okay. Put this guy back. Um, okay. And as I said, making this car into an automatic, not a problem. We actually, I mean, that's pretty much a standard procedure here to do something to the car. A lot of people had air conditioning, which would also be an option here. Uh, although where you live, not necessarily a must. Just close the hood. It is a very beautiful car. And the thing that I really like is the red stripe with the red line tires, the red bolt tires really bring out the interior, um, make the car pop. Anyway, as I said, pictures, videos, anything you would need. Um, more than happy to provide more information, as I said. Appraisers, as long as you hire good people, like um, we, all, we all work often with autoappraisal.com. They always send knowledgeable, knowledgeable people, because I'm not joking, we have had a quote unquote appraiser that showed up here and he didn't even know how to tell the difference between a V6 and a V8. So, <laughs> Understanding what he what kind of business he had being an appraiser was interesting That's all for now, and I'll talk to you on Monday